Good afternoon, everybody. Hope everybody is doing well this morning. And I am back. This is Angie with Angie Art. And I am going to do another pour. I had a really fun time doing the last one, and I just want to try it one more time and see how it goes. So, the colors I'll be using are Pebio Iridescent Gold, Creative Inspirations Orange Yellow. This is a beautiful color, never tried it before. Magan Magdanese Blue, I know I messed that up, by Soho. Uh, very reasonably priced, absolutely beautiful color. This is it mixed up. Just love that color. It's gorgeous. This is Quinacridone Rose by Creative Inspirations. And the last color I'll be using is Windsor Blue by Windsor & Newton. And it really looks purple. But it says Windsor Blue. Actually, I take that back. I used Windsor Violet. I, did not, I knew something was wrong. Something was wrong there. So, I am going to layer a cup. I have already taped off my canvas. Everything is level. I've checked that. And I'll tell you, that is probably one of the most important tips you'll get from all of these artists. Make sure your canvas is level or wherever you're going to place it to finish drying after you've done it. Make sure it is level because I have had gorgeous paintings and I walk out the next morning and it's all on the table and I just wanted to cry. So, we are going to get started. I'm not going to bore you with a lot of chit chat. Uh, let's see, I was going to tell you, I believe this is probably like an 11 by 14. Yeah, it's 14 and 11. So that's an 11 by 14 oval canvas. It is from the classic collection, Master's Touch. They had a sale, buy one, get one free, and I made good on that sale. Especially when it's odd shaped canvases that I normally wouldn't spend the money on. If I can get one for half price, I'm definitely going to do that. So I'm going to start this cup with some white. And then we're going to go with purple. Quinacridone rose. This looks like a be an Easter painting here. The Magnanese Blue, Yellow Orange from Creative Inspirations, and the Gold from Pebio. And I did add a little Goldens in there. And another thing that I did, I want, I like bling. I like a little sparkle in my paintings sometimes. Not always, but sometimes. So I did make a slurry of the Artist Loft uh, in iridescent medium and Floetrol. And I just made a little slurry and I put about two scoops like that in each cup of the non-metallic colors. And I'm going to see if that makes any difference. So... I thought that was a really good idea, and Molly stresses that too. If you're going to add paint to a cup of already mixed paint, she said it's much better to do it as a slurry and then add it in, and you don't get the lumps and stuff you don't want mixed in too. Uh, 
That's two. I'm going to do one more small. Small group of paints here. One more round, baby round. I like to be able to pour the whole cup when I make one, but I also don't like to waste a lot of paint. And I have not changed the plastic on my table. I'm sure you can see that. So I would not necessarily scrape this table afterwards. I might very lightly, but you run the risk of getting paint chips in your scrapings. So, yeah. I would, I would have to think it over and debate it. Okay. So again, I'm just going to pour a puddle of white in the middle. And then we are going to pour this. And typically I would pour from this side where I loaded it, but this time I'm going to try it from this side and see what happens. Very pretty. I'm concerned that I may have let my paints get a little too thin for a pour. I'm going to stop there. I know I've got more paint in my cup, but I'm going to stop there. I'm going to very quickly. And then we're going to start tilting before it gets crazy over here. It's all going off the end. So, very pretty colors, very pretty. See what happens here. Oh my goodness. A lot of green in there. Let's see if we can't stretch some of this out. See some cells developing that are really gorgeous. all the good stuff. Let's get this back this way. Some of that off, some of that. All right. Wow. That's pretty amazing. I like that. It's a really pretty pour. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a lot of lacing and, and really unique cells all developing in here. I am going to go ahead and torch it again. Oh, I guess those little white things popping up. The pouring medium that I used was Floetrol, GAC 800, Liquitex Gloss Medium, and water. I uh, use very little water. These paints mix up very nicely. I just very, just a little squirt, and that was it. Um, and that's pretty much what I do when I'm using these little five ounce cups. That's what I do too. I'll put in my Floetrol, and then I will just do a squirt of Liquitex and a squirt of GAC, put in my paint, get it thoroughly mixed, and then if I need to thin it down a little bit, I'll very small amount of water at a time. It's so much easier to just thin it down slow, slowly than to have to go back and add paint and go through all that. So yeah, it's 
So I'm gonna try to raise this up so that you can see it. I hope that the focus doesn't get crazy. But that is really, really pretty. Gorgeous cells right there. Very interesting. So that is an eight by, or I'm sorry, 11 by 14 oval. And it looks like a giant Easter egg. <laughs> so, all right. So I really appreciate you watching today. If you liked, please like and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. And I hope you'll come back the next time. Thank you.